Good evening, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66-Day Challenge, Day 35. So we are wrapping up our series on smart plans, and I kind of gave you a teaser alert yesterday. So clicking on the smart plan icon here on the left-hand side, I'm going to teach you today how you can actually edit. Um, right now, in limited capacity, the smart plans that we have available, uh, but in the future, hopefully even more editing capabilities will be added. So uh, these are the smart plans that have already been added to my library. So in order to add one to the library, again, we're just gonna go into library. Uh, we're gonna add midterm nurture. So I can click on add smart plan. It's basically gonna say, what do you want to name this? So if you like this plan, but you wanna change the text ever so slightly, so I can think of um, maybe a birthday smart plan, for example, that's going out to sphere and close friends versus a birthday smart plan that might be going out to um, kind of leads and or open house guests or, you know, people that aren't quite as close. You might have two different variations of these smart plans and you would just title them uh, as such. OK, so I'm just going to put my midterm nurture for right now. I'm going to click on apply. That's going to add that smart plan to my library. And now I can come down. So here is my midterm nurture. And if I come over here to the right hand side, I have the opportunity to click on this pencil and I can edit the smart plan. Now, right now, the only ability that I can do is actually edit the text that's in several of these different tasks. And yet you can see in the future what some of the action abilities might be here in uh, the future when we get it opened up to us. So can't guarantee it's gonna look like this in the future and yet it's kind of cool to see it slowly coming along. So in this smart plan, first thing it does is add to smart plan bi-weekly neighborhood nurture and then it waits 14 days. It sends you a task to make a call. And this is what the task name is going to look like. And this is what the task description is going to look like. So I might say, hey, you know what? I don't want phone call. I want this to say uh, follow up call. So I could just change what that task name is going to look like. And I could change here, task description, call so-and-so. Well, here's a good example, right? It says call so-and-so, and yet it does not have the contact's phone number. And I would actually have to go into the contact to add that. So what if I just said call Marty Miller at... And then I'm gonna type in at, and I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna use the merge field, contact phone. And then now I don't have to actually go into the contact record immediately, I can call them. Now, if I make contact with them, I wanna add notes or put them on a search or something like that, then obviously I would wanna go into the contact record. But by adding this merge field, contact phone, now this task will actually show their phone number in the task description as compared to me having to dive into their contact record. So there's a change you can make for you as the agent. Next, you can see step five is to actually send out an SMS MMS. My Twilio is actually disabled right now. And so you do have the ability to come in and of course, you know, obviously set up your Twilio account. But these are the texts right that could go out so it's going to be one of these three if you only want it to be one right so dynamic means it's going to basically go through this smart plan and it's going to send out text one and then it's going to go through a second time it's going to send out text two and it's going to go a third time and send out text three right so add more text message to cycle through your repeating smart plans to avoid repeating messages to your client so you would not want this on static because then it's going to send this exact same text several times over. And we don't want that. So we want dynamic. And then you can see here are the texts that are actually being sent. Now, most of the time when I reach out to people, well, first of all, I'm kind of a grammar Nazi. So this comma is in the wrong place. It should say, hi, Marty Miller, comma, right? So you can see it's done correctly down here. Hi, Marty Miller, comma. I want to make sure I'm getting you. I typically don't text people with their last name in it. I think it sounds weird, right? So I'm gonna take out this merge field with last name. Uh, I'm also gonna take out my last name because I don't usually say, hey, it's Marty Miller. I usually just say, hey, it's Marty from KW, right? And, right, if your team name, if that doesn't make sense, from KW Summit Property Group, so maybe I'm gonna say from 
right? Team name already has, and my team name already has Keller Williams in it, so it just looks weird. So you can come in here basically and change how these texts go out. So hi, Marty. It, so hi, uh, whatever, Nicole, comma, it's Marty from Summit Property Group at Keller Williams, period. Was the market data I sent over a few weeks ago helpful, question mark? If so, comma, I have fresh numbers and insights I'd be happy to send your way. All right, and maybe I want to add a call to action. Please text me back and let me know if, know if you'd like to see more, right? So whatever it is, I can come through here and read each one of these texts and go in and actually change them and make them the way that I want. So I'm going to save that one, right? So then, um, it, what did it do? Oh, let's move. No, we don't want to move it down. I want to actually see that step. Did it take that step out? No, here it is. Okay, so we're going to click on the down arrow, and now I can see the two texts. I can also, I believe I can add a new text. I can. So I can actually put in a third text if I wanted to, right? So I could actually write out what I want this text to say. So you have this same ability to come in and do edits, right? So now that this is done, um, I'm going to click on the checkbox here to save. Uh, actually, let's get rid of this text message. Save that. I'm going to save this one up here. Now I'm going to save the smart plan as a whole. And so all changes to smart plan have been saved. Great. So if I come back, I now have my midterm nurture the way that I want it set up. Here I have the birthday smart plan, right? This was the original. And then I made changes to it. So I've got birthday one. So let's just take a look at that one. If I wanted to edit it. Uh, the birthday smart plan just says happy birthday on the text. And so for me, that was something that I thought was weird. I thought people should want to know who that's coming from. So, hey, it's Marty Miller with KW Platinum. Just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. And uh, I'm actually going to change that to, hey, it's Marty Miller with Keller Williams. Because obviously in my new position, I'm not 100% associated with just one market center. So, hey, it's Marty Miller with Keller Williams. Just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. I'm going to save that. Now I can come back up to the top and I can save that change. And now that smart plan has been changed with that information. So that's basically it. You can come through each one of these smart plans. Like I said, you can copy these smart plans as well. So let's say birthday one is set up, but I wanna copy this smart plan. I like everything about it, except I wanna call this birthday for sphere contacts. Right, so I could save this. Now I have a new plan that's in here, and this is birthday for Sphere Contacts. Maybe I do some edits on that, and then when I come into my actual contact records, you'll see I now have the ability to add, let's just say, all right, a seller. I wanna put them on a smart plan. Let's see what smart plans they're already on. They're not subscribed to any, so I would say add to smart plan. And this person is in my sphere, so I'm going to give them the birthday sphere smart plan, right? And so then it tells you what that one is, and I'm going to click on confirm. Um, and I don't have this person on an actual birth. I don't have a birthday for this person, so I can't add them to that smart plan. So that was a good way to see that uh, fail save. I hadn't shown that previously to you. Obviously, you do have to have a birthday for your client in order to add them to that smart plan. So that's it for today, guys. The ability to go in, copy, edit, and uh, change up your smart plans to kind of suit your needs with regards to the text and the tasks and the text in the texts. Um, in the future, obviously, we'll have the ability to create our own smart plans. We can change these with different triggers, different items. Maybe we don't want text going out. We only want emails. We want to add in a couple other tasks. I'm super excited about the future of the a smart plan editor. I don't know when that's going to go live, so please don't message me or tag me and ask me when it's going to go live. I don't know. I know it's being worked on, and I want it to be. Uh, I want it to work well before it's released, just as much as I'm sure you do. So that's why I'm excited that they haven't released it yet, because that just means they're getting it perfect before they release it, or at least a lot closer to perfect than it is now. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you had a great Saturday, and as always, I'll look forward to talking to you in the morning. Thanks so much.